There's the wall, all hidden by the bins. I don't need a bacon butter after eating that. Look at that! Give me a second. Hello and welcome to Monday the 22nd of January, quarter to nine. It's just took us about 35 minutes to do a 15 minute journey, hasn't it? It's made him car sick. Something's going on in town today, the traffic's bonkers. Um, you could tell they made me car sick because I'll just get roasted in the comments now. <laughs> yeah. So today's job is digging. We're putting a garden wall with um, engineering bricks. Uh, from um, here up to there uh, this job's been held up because we needed a stump grinder to take a tree stump from there and then there's a hedge here so they took all the, tri all the hedge out and the roots so we were waiting for them to do that so now we can start digging and we, it took us that long to get here the skip arrived before we got here and the skip should be here so we just need to speak to the, cus the customer next door. It's a joint venture and um, see where they want theirs to go to. There's going to be a pillar at each end, about 800 high with blue engineers on the top. We just got these delivered last week because the customers sorted them out. They just got here a bit early, that's all. But um, all systems go now. Co uh, we're currently being battered by Storm e Isha. I think it's the ninth. I, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. The ninth main storm of the year. We're only in January. So, um, that's the plan. Alex sorted the van out last night, so we've got all the digging stuff. That's our mortar spade, which hasn't been used for a long time, obviously. We haven't had a full week in since December. And I can't remember when that full week was. It's been a long time. So we need to get some work done. So, yeah. Let's get digging. Well, let's get the skip move first, then digging.
that's it, we've done it an hour. So we're very impressed with that. We've, uh, we're down about 350. So we're going to put 300 of concrete in it, 450 wide, and then obviously that tarmac's going to need patching back with tarmac. We can't find a virgin cable, I don't, I don't think the customer's got a virgin. So happy so far, not found any routes, so we made a cracking job of getting rid of that hedge. Oh, there goes Hodgson's up there. Yeah, um, yeah, it's nice, it's nice digging, a lot easier than I thought it would. As easy as it is when you. Oh, I won't mention it again. Um, yeah, it's it's basically dry top soil that we're digging out and putting in a skip, unfortunately. But it needs to go. As I say, once we're done, this, this whole driveway is going to be redone. I suppose we could have just piled it, but um, it's a bit cheeky that, isn't it, when the uh, landscape is coming on, the shite's been piled in the way. So we'll get rid of our bit and any bits left over, just put it, just level out. We're going to have to come with honeycomb all these bricks because they yes, you can see where the paper, the paper's wet, so they're wet right through. It's a bit of a pain. Um, we were discussing black mortar, but I did explain to the customer that black mortar doesn't stay black. It'll always end up pale grey, so we, we just need them to decide on that. I did suggest red, because red will fade to pink, which is so nice with the red brick. So yeah, we have a break now. I'm on the uh, long spade, I'm not bending and that's doing all the digging out, so he's doing the line share as usual. And then all this is well high, and that's got to be taken back. And I've got the laser level out on the uh, curb. It's 40 mil higher at that end than it is at this end. It looks like it's got a hump in it, so. So this is our minimum. Um, this is our lowest point, basically, so all our levels go off this. Because if you start at your highest point, you could end up with your concrete coming up higher than your actual uh, pavement. And we're going for 300 of concrete on a block flat and then the face with it. So we're going to break and catch in a bit. You can hear me better this time because I put the mic on before and never switched it on. <laughs> Got this on for the wind. So while Alex is carrying on digging, this is how I'm up to. This shows you how wet the bit. These were wrapped. The wrapping did have a hole in it, and that's split halfway down through the stack. So wet they are right down. Papers. So there you go. The paper is really wet right through. Right down to the car, just soaking wet. I won't show the front soaking wet at all. Basically, that's the paper's meant to protect it, but once that paper's wet, it doesn't let it dry it out. It keeps it wet. Yeah. Same as having the, wrap, the uh, packs wrapped. They get wet in the wraps, they'll never dry up. So I'm spending half an hour, 40 minutes doing this. The customer did those ones for us very kindly because they were in the way of the uh, skip, which was going to go there. But anyway, they put that next to one of these. Got a bit of a breeze over it. Don't, it's well, it's had storm ice over it overnight. Yeah. So that, they were covered up on the top. You never cover the sides up so the wind can get through. So they're pretty much there. That stack was covered up, but the sides are covered, so that hasn't dried out. The van's drying out inside. Great. It was, uh, it was dripping on everything, wasn't it? We were dripping in flooded. Yeah. We had wet boards in there, so that just evaporates into the roof. And then, yeah, I've just got this little core in the middle to do. I'm, I'm doing it like a courtyard if you like so the, the air can circulate and it's good in the statue. That side's doubled up a little bit but there's also a gap in there and we've just got the heat gun in there doing what it can. Every little helps. <laughs> Every little helps. It's good on that isn't it? Anyway, yeah, I'm going to get the rest of these stacked up and get back on there with Alex. Um, we can't leave this because they're unusable. We cannot use them. They're engineering bricks, well it's class B's semi engineering bricks so they are unusable unless you're in a foundation. 
So I'm going to get the rest of these honeycombed out and then they've got all day today and all day tomorrow to dry out. All you have to do is make sure the top's covered so the water can't get into the top. As long as the wind can blow through they will dry out pretty quick because they're engineering bricks. So there, there you go. Don't let your bricks get wet. Of course this is to people who, who, who don't know. Obviously but most people do know who watch the channel. So um, yeah. So you can see the end of the pack starting to dry out but it just doesn't go into it. So yeah, let's crack on. Have any of you watched uh, Blues Brothers? That scene where they're both in that big pile of bricks. It's almost nine o'clock. I'm trying to slow that down to show what happened, but I've just spent the best part of an hour stacking them. Just getting to the last few in the middle, and that side went and took me with it, and then it was like a dominoes. So, mir miraculously, the van didn't get hit, the radio didn't get hit, and the, the lead got a little dinger on the edge, so all that stuff's fine. Dad is okay at the moment. So, he's just gonna have to restack these somewhere else. Doesn't know that. It's a bit yeah, I it doesn't know that the ground's not firm and we don't really have any spare pallets anymore. But I'll, um, I'll probably bring the camera over to me now while I'm um, dead. So now I'll. Uh, well, I can see how I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just trying to carve my way through this part now to find the edge of the um, pavement. What's cool is you can actually see the old cobble, cobble pathway underneath. As you can see from here, it's there. So obviously when these routes have come up some of the uh, tarmac is like being dragged back so as long as I find that cobble pavement I should be good and like I said I'm just trying to carve my way through here. So there you go, there's our finished um, level. So I just need to get that across. I'm gonna put a big dent in here first, maybe get to the end, just so I can then go through properly then. Hopefully by then Dad might be finished. Moving on then. But yeah, I'll uh, get you set up on time lapse for a bit and then we will catch you in a bit.
Rogers. This is the tail end of Storm East, East Shit Ice, whatever. Look how much dry they are. They're almost. Obviously, got where the bricks touch each other, but they have to. A few there which were left completely covered where the wind couldn't get in them. And probably this section here, it's got a blow in there. But um, yeah, made up with that. It's going to be a pain in the arse to cover them, but uh, that's brilliant. So after getting buried by them, they're all dry. So we're ready to go. We've sent the customer the list of the other stuff we need, so he's going to order that lot. And that gives us a chance to get this finished tomorrow morning, get this concrete in tomorrow morning. It's crack on a Wednesday, but Wednesday I've got pre-op in the morning, so um, I, I won't even have a chance to come and get Alex set up because the pre-op's at a quarter past nine. Go and get that done, then we'll both come in the afternoon and get started on this and see how the weather takes us. So, back to time lapse in a bit. Oh, back at the extension job to pick our boards up, which we're going to use our garden wall job to cover the trench up so no, we, don't, we don't have any people falling down the trench and putting claims in. So, we're going to whack these in the back of the van and then head back to the job. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, I just slammed the door on the camera and dropped it on the floor.
You're going to have to excuse the wind. I can't find the mic because it's too dark. <laughs> but I'll try and shield you. There you go. We actually got that dig finished today. It's about half five, so not too bad. And we've got it all done. You can't, you can't even see. It's done, believe me. There's just that route to get rid of. And obviously we're covering up with the um, boards we picked up from the previous job. So I hope you can hear me. But yeah, so that means we're gonna hopefully get concrete tomorrow. So tomorrow's job will, if the concrete's here, will be get that big root cut away, then um, get the levels put in, and then get the concrete in. And then I think the stuff's coming Wednesday, like the rest of the bricks and the sand. So that's the plan. That's how windy it is. <laughs> But yeah, um, we'll see you for the next part, whenever that will be, whether it's tomorrow or whenever they bring the concrete to us. Right, after a very stressful journey to work again, the lads just got here before us. We only met wrong and rang up this morning, he's managed to fit us in this morning. We've got a spare slot. So Alex is just taking the route out, they're just hanging, for, hanging waiting for him. And then um, I've set the laser level up and then um, should be done with him. I was a bit worried it was going to be more than a cube for a minute, but uh, no, that's okay. And you can see it's uh, 100mm down from the pavement, so that gives us room for a concrete block flat. And then face work from there. Face work. Which is still covered. Storm jostling coming this afternoon, because it's the 20... I think it's the 23rd today. Yeah, 23rd, because pre-ops tomorrow. Lovely weather tomorrow, but I can't come in the morning because I've got to go to the hospital. Typical. But apparently we've got a good day tomorrow, good day Friday. So um, what Alex is doing, he put the last barrow in, it took us high. So we're first going to take it out, throw it in the skip, which we've done with a little bit of it. But then I thought, what's the point? We're not working to any particular level, so we're just dragging it through and levelling it. So we've just got a nice level foundation, instead of throwing it away. So uh, Alex is just sorting that now. Uh, I don't know if I explained in the video or not, but we've got a... Uh, Al? We have a... Uh, we set the bottom of the tamp, lift it up so I can see it, right? We set the bottom of the tamp to 300 for 300 concrete. That's the laser line. So now, we know that's level. So instead of messing around trying to get nails and screws into soil, we just use the tamp as our, as our guide. And it's looking good. So once he's dragged it through and got it all level again, we, we did have it level right to the end, but then dragged it back again now just to raise the, raise the whole thing up so next after this it's going to actually pour down later and the wind's going to get up so we need to make sure these bricks are covered properly cover the stretch back over and head off to Bursco to Fairwoods to get pick the cement up because the cement's in paper bags we don't want to get it delivered we're going to put it in the van so it stays dry um, 
Um, we've got another, another couple of jobs to do this afternoon running down, so we're going to get that done while we've got some spare, spare time. Clive Hurt. Anyone who, anyone who recognizes, Clive's, recognizes Clive Hurt will know they're owned by Fox. Fox Brothers. They were good friends with Asheville. So you'll see Hurt machinery down in Asheville. So you even see that kind of stuff up in the northwest. So yeah, once this is done, taking off for baking butty because we um, we dropped everything's legs out the, out the house this morning to make it here. So once it's all covered up, I'll let you see it and then we'll get going. A little backstory to this job. So we're all set for tomorrow. Everything's covered. Hopefully it'll stay covered during storm jostling. Skip's full, ready to go. I need to think up about that. And the regulars will recognise this one. You won't recognise it yet until I show you this bit. There you go. This is the, um, if you remember, this is the gate that collapsed and nearly hit me on the head. But these are lovely, these are aluminium. Lovely gates. And then as you can see, the custom has been busy since we were here. Remember it was rough, rough ass cobbles here. Let's just show you. I love, the, I love the locks on the gates there. Oh, I wonder if that. Very clever. Yeah, did all the flagging himself. Porcelain, obviously. And this is my favourite bit of what he's done. There's the wall, all hidden by the bins. As you can see, it's a utility wall. He's it's, it's not bothered about putting any finish on it, whatever. For now, he might, he might do eventually, but... It's doing a job at the moment. And then... We've got this. He's done this little bit that runs into the gully so when you're washing the dog with the taps the water gets away down straight down to the gully that's a lovely little, uh, lovely little touch that so this is the job we're doing the front wall at the end of the garden on the between them and the neighbors so there you go oh yeah now we're in the van and another another little like, item for the back story is Just unwrap a little bit. Might as well get my piece out, I'm having mine. <laughs> this is the place where Alex lost his mind over a piece of lemon cake. He had a revelation. <laughs> so um, we've just been made a nice piece of a uh, gluten-free chocolate cake. So I'm, I'm all up for that. Alex having his bacon butty first, but I'm straight into this. It's lovely. Look at that. You could do some deadlifts for that. I don't need a bacon butty after eating that. Look at that! Give me a second. Oh, oh, oh. That is good. Yes. I put a. Um, I'll check it's all right, but I'll put the. Um, I'll put the Instagram in the uh, above the picture so you can see what the Instagram is. If you're in the area, check them, check them out for your fancy cakes. Oh God, I'm not used to this bloody thing because I'm on the phone. Right, you didn't get to see much unfortunately because of our camera problems, but there you go, it's in. So, that was a uh, very, I'm sure Dad told you, I woke up, got me clothes on and we were out, but we got here despite uh, the best efforts. There you have it. So that's ready for Thursday. Just make a note of this. Uh, Tuesday? 20, Tuesday, Tuesday the 23rd of January 2024. It went perfect. No hiccups, <laughs> no problems, no moaning. It's uh, about half ten. And we're going home, job and not. It doesn't happen often. But this will be the end of this part. Next part will be the brickwork. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like. And uh, if you're new to the channel, you want to see more, hit subscribe. I've not done this for a while with y'all. Uh, tap on that bell so you're always notified. That way, yeah, tap on that bell. That way you'll be notified when we upload. See y'all. That's a massive help and we appreciate the support. Any additional support you'd wish to give, there's the super thanks just under the video and then there's a link to dad's PayPal in the description. Not necessary, but greatly appreciated. Especially because he's getting his pre-op soon. Again. Tomorrow.
So uh, we're not lying, he is getting his head done. <laughs> this has been Brickling with Stephen Alex with a, an actual smooth day for once, and we'll see you in the next one.